guys, Ash here coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Welcome to the video. So you decided to play Raid Shadow Legends, eh? Uh, today I want to give you some essential tips for beginners starting Raid Shadow Legends here in 2024. Now the game's been out for a while, but assuming you maybe you just started playing a few months ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago, maybe today, maybe you haven't even downloaded yet, but there's so much in this game that I have a really long beginner's guide you can check out. I really go around the entire game and I explain everything. What's the portal? What's the great hall? What's the tavern? When should I do this or that or the other thing? Today I want to try to keep it really, really macro, high level. What is going to get you started on the right path inside this game? And how can you avoid some of the pitfalls that a lot of new players encounter playing Raid Shadow Legends? Okay, so let's start with the, uh, I have six tips for you guys. Number one, you need to use a juicy download link and or promo codes, right? So I don't know when you're watching this video, so I'm not gonna tell you the current promo codes, but here on this side bar here, if you click on it and you start with promo codes, I've already collected one today, but what you wanna do is, is utilize two things. Number one is a download link. And I'm gonna give you, I have a download link. A lot of creators have them. Uh, I'm gonna give you my download link in the description below. It's gonna give you two free epic champions, okay? It's gonna give you, uh, right away, it's gonna give you Tayrell. Wait, what are we doing here? Wait, what? Who? is a high elf, not sacred order. He's a really, really good debuffer, can help you out beginners in this game, right? Very, very good, right? Defense-based, easy to keep alive. We'll talk a little bit about stats and stuff like that on the other tips. And then after level, I think 25, using my link, you're gonna get your hands on Rector Draft, right? Now I have new download links all the time. I try to share them whenever I have them here on the channel. So go ahead and subscribe. And uh, hey, if you're starting a new account or sometime in the future, one of your buddies wants to play, whatever, I always update them with the, you know, the newest champions that they uh, they give us access to. Okay, so that's number one. Use a download link. And then once you use your download link, go through the tutorial, check your inbox, you'll have your champion, right? And after that, go ahead and use a promo code. Just YouTube search active promo codes, Raid Shadow Legends. There's always at least a couple active and then collect from there as well. This is going to give you an amazing start and you're going to be probably, you know, it's hard to put a timeline or a monetary value, but it's big. You're going to have access to some of the better epic champions and some rewards vis-a-vis -vis the promo code to start you out on your raid journey. Now, number two is, is, is this is like a, bro I have some more granular tips about like how to build champions and stuff like that. So stay tuned, but I, I have to share this first and foremost. Raid is not a race. And Raid Shadow Legends is not a competition, okay? There's PvE and there's PvP. PvE are like all the dungeon areas, basically when you're playing against a well, player versus environment, right? And then there's the arena that's PvP. But no matter what you're into, guys, it's not a competition in Raid Shadow Legends, right? Uh, the, the the top of the leaderboard in PvP, it changes all the time. And you, you frankly, you have to you have to spend a lot to get there, you know, to get there. And uh, it's not, you don't get any great rewards. It's not going to be worth it, you know, for a lot of players, for the, for the most players out there. Uh, and it's not a race, right? It's not a race, meaning that you can enjoy this game at your own pace okay focus on something to, to do like a, a dungeon level that you want to clear inside this game by the way in terms of dungeon levels in this game too uh you really want to be focused on see this see this four to six here four to six here four to six here and we keep going down and down and down and then it changes to five to six right these are the big thresholds between stage 19 and stage 20 right when we have access to higher star higher quality artifacts right so those are what we should be aiming for in terms of dungeons right so three to five to four to five that's going to be a big kind of moment for your account you're going to have access to better gear okay but i guess what i'm trying to say is focus on getting to one of these thresholds right set miniature mini goals and then just enjoy yourself along the way right uh once you reach the end game it becomes a bit more expensive i guess right to compete with the best of the best in player versus player so you might as well just enjoy the ride again there's not a competition there's not a race inside this game and the moment you start thinking it's a competition or if it's a race to get to the end that's where you're in trouble with a game like this okay let's go do some more practical in-game tips here and tip number three okay and i want to talk about three particular stats that you guys need to know about right and that is crit rate accuracy and speed okay so let me just pull up some random artifacts here and while we talk and it's it's so important and i get i see so many new players in this game get these 
easy fundamentals wrong because there's no beginners there's no user's guide it's not like back in my day here uh where it came with an instruction manual right when you're building a damage dealer you want to get their crit rate to 100 percent it's as simple as that way before you prioritize their attack stat or anything like that uh the best way to do so is vis-a-vis -vis the gauntlets right you can go ahead and put a crit rate uh crit rate main stat on your gauntlets so easy enough right what is so gauntlets for damage dealers you're going to be going crit rate on the gauntlets in the early game speed is so important in this game it's so strong in this game and you can only get main stat boots that have speed on them okay so main stat on weapons is always going to be attack main stat on helmets is always going to be hp it's kind of intuitive main stat on shield what does it do it defends you it's always going to be defense okay uh attack what does a weapon do it attacks okay but when you get to the gauntlets, when you get to the chest, and when you get to the boots, you can have different main stats, okay? So boots, guys, you want to go speed as your main stat. When you're starting this game out, even in the mid game, even in the end game, the vast majority of your champion builds are gonna have speed as the main stat. If we look at our total stats here, guys, we want speed to be our priority, even the very beginning of this game, right? Uh, speed is essential. So we talked about crit rate, we talked about speed and accuracy, okay? Accuracy is a really, really easy stat to understand. Anytime any champion is doing anything other than damage to the enemy, you need accuracy to land it, right? The general rule of thumb is around 10 to 12 points of accuracy per stage of the dungeon that you're targeting, right? So we just showed, I think, Fire Knight. Let's say I wanted to go Fire Knight 10. I'm aiming for a run around 100 accuracy, okay? Uh, a lot of champions in this game require accuracy. Some support champions like Revivers, Healers, that doesn't require accuracy because we're only affecting our team, right? If you're a raw damage dealer, you're only doing damage, no debuffs, nothing else. Well, you might not need accuracy in that occasion. But the vast majority of champions, they add something else to the table where we're doing something to the enemy where we're gonna need accuracy the only exception is if it says this debuff cannot be resisted then you don't need accuracy but that's kind of a niche scenario so foley we have decreased defense needs accuracy we have leech needs accuracy we have decreases their current turn meter this one's not as obvious right because look at decreasing turn meter wait does that need accuracy too yes it does because we're doing something to the opponent that is not damage. Increase the cooldown of opponent's skills. Needs accuracy. Guys get the point. So we want to make sure that we always give enough accuracy on every champion. Otherwise, we're leaving a lot of what makes them good, them special, that particular skill set, off the table. And we want to take advantage of that. Tip number four is do not spread yourself too thin in the early game, right? And that means the amount in the the choice of champions that you're you're investing in this game's gonna throw a lot of champions your way but the truth is most of them in the early game you're not gonna be upgrading they want you right the evil developer i kid wants you though to spend your resources in all these areas where you don't really need so what you should do is start with your starter champion right let's just say that you went with Aethel. Aethel, Kale, Elhane, and Galek, no matter who you go with, and there's no right or wrong, they're all really good. I think Kale's still the best starter in this game, personally, but Aethel and Elhane are really good. Galek's not awful, and either way, you're not gonna ruin your account with whatever starter you go to, right? Kale's nice because he has poisons, which requires accuracy. He also needs 100% crit rate, right? The starting champions you want to prioritize as your first order of business is getting them all the way to six stars. That requires leveling them up, sacrificing other food. I have plenty of videos on how to farm up your champions in Raid Shadow Legends. I'm not going to get into all that today. And it's pretty intuitive as well. They kind of teach you in the tutorial a little bit. Anyway, the thing is, is you want to prioritize them, get them all the way to six stars and get them fully ascended, okay? Ascension, potions, uh, we can go ahead and get those, farm those inside dungeons, right? right? Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys. After you focus on your first champion, a lot of people save up gems and they use their first batch of gems to just buy the masteries. It costs 800 gems to buy your first champion's uh, masteries and it saves you a lot of grinding. So I would recommend doing it, but it's not for everybody. At the time that you have to make that decision though, you'll probably have a good, 
grasp of kind of the layout of the land, so to speak. Uh, but yeah, the arcane keep and all these different affinity keeps are going to be where we're ascending. We're working to ascend our champion. So getting your starter fully ascended, fully leveled up, it's going to be your first order of business. And then all the masteries. After that, there's some great options for you out there. Uh, after 30 days playing this game, you get your hands on a champion called High Katoon for free. She's definitely worth being the second or third champion that you invest in inside this game. She's going to help you out for a long time. So definitely invest in High Katoon, okay? Now, odds are you're probably going to pull from a shard that kind of jack up the starting player's odds at pulling a good champion, a legendary, oftentimes from shards. Odds are you're going to get your hands on a legendary. I would frankly look up on YouTube, look up on tier lists on, on the internet. There's a lot, hellhades.com and uh, yumilove.net. I'll leave these websites for resources for you guys. But there's a lot of good tier lists out there that will help you make those decisions. Uh, you don't want to get caught in the higher rarity trap that every higher rarity champion you get, you just blow all your resources because there's a lot of really good epics and even rares in this game too. So High Katoon is a good second champion to go for. And then after that, I would recommend going for a campaign farmable champion. If we look at campaign here and we go to the Dreadlands, the campaign is where you're going to start playing this game anyway. That's where you're going to be spending your time anyway, right? And your starter is going to be your campaign farmer. When we go to the Dreadlands, you'll see this naked chick here. Girl, look at that body. It's War Maiden. Girl, look at that body. Thanks for the introduction. War Maiden's an amazing debuffer. She's the best rare debuffer in the game with a big version of decreased defense. That requires accuracy uh so it's going to be really important to get your hands on her uh because you'll already have tayrell if you use my link too that's going to be a big help uh but war maiden generally speaking is going to be able to, to to help you out in the early the mid and even the ed end game because in the end game of raid shadow legends they have a lot of like restrictive content meaning that you can only use rare champions in a specific dungeon so some of these investments that you make early on they're still going to help you out maybe years to come in the end game too which is really nice right tip number five guys is energy optimization and yours truly is a very bad boy right now because i have a lot of energy way more than i need right uh the thing is i had a fr the world's number one free-to-play player on the channel a couple weeks ago here it's, it's definitely worth watching and uh he was like he was so rich in terms of in-game resources particularly silver and I was like, how is somebody who's never spent a dime on this game have so many great artifacts, so much silver, and so much progress? And he said it was really simple. He just use, he makes good use of his energy optimization, meaning this energy, 130 cap, it just fills up throughout the day. Huh? I'm not saying you guys have to make this a full-time job. No way, you know? First and foremost, maintain your, your you know, your, your balance in, in life, right? But you do want to make sure you're using this energy that we're given th throughout the day for free, right? Use it to farm. Use it to campaign farm. Use it to farm spider, which is the best place to get your silver because accessories sell for a lot more in this game, right? You guys will get the hang of, like, where to be spending your silver. But make sure, or it's your energy, rather. But make sure that you, uh, you use your energy and, and be efficient with your energy. What does that mean? That means always keep your eyes on the events and tournaments going on. A tournament's right here. And events right below you can kind of double dip so what's going on right now a fire knight tournament okay well maybe this maybe today since there's a fire knight tournament going on maybe i'll spend my energy in fire knight why would i do that because i get all these awesome bonus rewards along the way so be efficient with your energy at the same time right uh also keep an eye on your quests and your dailies and make sure you collect them you can get energy fight in tag team arena with a team from four different affinities sure i'll go do it and i'll get 50 energy you can double and triple and quadruple dip in a lot of areas and a lot of it just comes down to really the uh the 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 gasoline that drives the engine that is Raid Shadow Legend, that is your account in Raid Shadow Legends, is energy. So be thoughtful on how you use it and try to double dip when you can. Last but not least, guys, I'm going to keep this one super basic for you all. It's shards, summons. Man, there's a lot of events in this game, guys. There's a lot of shard pulling events. This is how we get our champions, right? Uh, it can be tempting to go in there, especially as a new player, whenever you get a a shard you know there's a lot of them now they, back in my day there was ancients voids and primals and mysteries now 
or excuse me, sacreds. Now there's primals, there's remnant summons, there's summon pools. There's a lot that they're throwing at you, right? 23 identities live in Kevin's body. Who are you? Give me your money. But general rule of thumb is this game is going to give you a lot of good champions. We talked about a few, War Maiden, High Katoon, etc., your starting champion. There's a lot more than that. There's a lot of good legendaries that you're going to get later on in this game, right? Plenty of videos on those champions. You'll see daily login champions. They run these special events where they give free legendaries who are generally very, very good a few times a year, you know? Recently, we had Ultimate Death Knight, Rathalos, Blademaster, Sun Wukong. I mean, these are all... A or B or S tier champions, right? They're gonna help out everybody dramatically. You play long enough, you're gonna get your hands on those champions, plus all the daily logins, plus a lot of other freebies or stretch goals or fusions, a lot. I say all that to say, there's no need to always pull shards all the time. Sit on your shards, stockpile your shards for special events. What are the best events to pull shards? Well, General rule of thumb, 2x events. Double your chance to pull higher rarity champions. There's a 2x event going on right now. 12% chance to pull a legendary out of sacred shards. This would generally be a pretty dang good time to pull a legendary. Now, there's always exceptions to every rule. There's like very some different compelling events that come along once in a blue moon. There's also a mercy timer that you can kind of rig in your favor to try to get guaranteed champions. There's a lot more to it. But general rule of thumb, sit on your shards and wait till a 2x shard event. It turns yellow. If you go to your shard and you click on this little button up here, it will turn yellow when it's a boosted event. That's generally a good time to pull your, sh your sacred shards. Guys, and also, make sure it's a time that you actually want to get a champion to invest in, right? Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you beginners out there found this video helpful. Again, if you like the content here, I invite you to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, take care, guys.